Hi everyone. Today we are going to make shrimp tomato risotto. First, start to prepare all the ingredients for today's dish. Peel and divide the shrimps by using a small knife. Keep the shells and heads for making our stock. Dice onions, celery, fennel, and shallots into evenly pieces. Roll the basil leaves tightly into a bundle and chiffonard them. Also, chop your garlic and parsley. Now we have all the ingredients prepared. Let's start cooking. Heat your pan really hot over a high heat. Saute all the heads and shells along with some olive oil. Years later. Until we can see the oil turn red and all the aroma released from the shrimp head, then add tomato paste in and stir in the pan over the low heat. Pour the stock to just cover the shrimp heads. Keep simmering for 10 more minutes. And meanwhile, prepare the tomatoes. Score the tomato skin and leave them in boiling water for 15 seconds. Remove the skin and squeeze all the extra juice and seeds out. Puree the tomato with a blender and strain the puree. Keep the strained tomato juice. Now we back to shrimp stock. Strain the shrimp stock and keep the liquid. Push hard by a spoon to get all delicious flavor from the shells. Add the strained tomato puree to the shrimp stock. Then we have the secret key ingredients to this dish. Finally, let's start cooking the rice. Saute all the diced vegetables over medium-high heat along with some olive oil. Keep stirring the pot until all the vegetables are soft and tender. Now you can put a piece of room temperature butter into the pan. When you see all the butter are melted in the pan, it's the time for spring off time and some white wine. Pour a cup of your favorite dry white wine, such like Chardonnay. Cook until all the extra alcohol being released. It's the time for adding our main ingredient to this dish. It's arborio rice. Keep stirring the pan after adding the rice in to allow each rice its absorbed butter and the flavor from the veggies. It's the time to add your stock. Carefully pour your stock to the pan ladle by ladle. Do not add your stock too fast, otherwise you will ruin this dish. Only put the stock when you don't see extra liquid from remaining pan. Add salt pepper to taste. Turn heat to low and put shaved parmesan cheese and mascarpone cheese. Stir the pan until you see all the cheeses are melted. Then cover the pan with a lid and keep outside. Season the shrimps with salt, pepper, and olive oil. With a hot pan, put garlic, salads, and thyme. Searing both sides of the shrimps until golden brown. To finish cooking, squeeze some lemon juice into the pan and sprinkle some parsley. Cooking's done. Let's get prepared for assemble the dishes. The rice is still remaining al dente inside. Add parsley and basil in and stir well.
Use a spoon to assemble the rice. You can put as much as you want, and along with our seared shrimps. Mmm, yummy! Finish with a touch of basil, shaved parmesan, and some extra virgin olive oil. This is today's dish: shrimp tomato risotto. At weekend night, treat yourself with this dish and cup of wine. Still with us? Okay, let's share some tips of this dish. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.